So tonight we're having Bude Jjigae, which is a uh, Korean army stew. And this actually is kind of a, a newer dish. It's not a traditional dish, but it, it originated um, during the Korean War. And the South Korea at the time was um, one of the poorest countries in the world at the time. So it was hard uh, feeding all the soldiers and it was born out of necessity, this dish. So it includes spam, hot dog, uh, bean sprouts, kimchi, rice cakes, kind of all thrown together in, in a pot and made into a stew, just whatever ingredients they could find. And afterwards, after the war, it became kind of a popular dish uh, for people. So it's still around. It's tasty. It's salty. It's um, it's a fun food. Um, and Anthony Bourdain actually has an episode where he creates this dish with a YouTuber in Korea. It's, it's a really good episode if you want to check it out. Um, and in his cookbook, he has a recipe for Bude Jjigae that I've done at home, and it's really good, really easy to make. You just throw everything in a pot and stew it up. So, so you can see all the ingredients in there. Just kind of mix it all together. Heat it up. Mm -hmm. Spam. Hot dogs. Pork belly. Bean sprouts. Tofu, kimchi. Gochujang is spicy pepper paste and gochugaru, spicy pepper flakes. So it's just this stew. There you got some rice cakes over there. And then ramen noodles. And it's just a good hearty dish on a cold day. Starting to boil over now, getting cooked. Everything's coming together, all the flavors boiling together. Gonna be really tasty. All those kind of different meaty flavors come together to create the stew. There's some tofu. Start eating that. Everything's getting cooked up for hot dogs. A little bit of spam and pork belly in there. Mmm. Not too bad. Some of that soup. Mmm. Looks good. Let's try some of this, huh? So, try some of that soup first. Mmm, huh? it's kind of a good, kind of like a kimchi soup, but it has that spam and hot dog flavor in there. Some spam in there. Really good. Dubu, tofu. Ah, got some ramen in there. Now, I talked about this being created during the Korean War when Korea was one of the poorest countries. Now, Korea is, I think, the 12th largest economy in the world, but they still uh, have this, you know, holding on to traditions. So, um, and, um, you know, it's, it's interesting too because they're this huge economy, a tiny country without resources. It's just the people working hard to develop that. So, uh, kind of a unique uh, community. So we're, now we're going to enjoy this and I hope you enjoy your night.